Hi, and in this video, I'm gonna share how to activate his attraction through conscious polarity. And this concept, this principle, has been one of the biggest things that has allowed me to foster the most amazing relationship I have ever had with my uh, with my partner, Callie. And it is the cornerstone and the foundation of you creating the sort of incredible magnetic attraction and passion in relationship with men. So I wanna start off by explaining, right, what polarity is. So imagine that a relationship, right, between a man and a woman is a container. It's like a, it's like a little container, right? And within that container, there are two sides, right? There's a masculine side and a feminine side to that container, right? Now, uh, in general, for polarity to exist, right, the feminine partner gets to be on the feminine side of the relational container in her feminine energy. Now, the man, the masculine, gets to be uh, predominantly on the masculine side of the masculine energy container. So that way there is space right between the two of them. So when a man is in his masculine and a woman is in her feminine within a heteronormative uh, relational container, polarity is created, right? Relationship flows. And it, it sort of creates this uh, this beautiful balance, right, between a man and a woman. And I'm sure you've felt that in a relationship, right, where a man shows up for you and he is just deeply grounded in his masculine energy and knows who he is, knows what he's creating in the world. He is deeply rooted in his identity as a man and he invites you into his life from a masculine space, right? How does that make you feel? It creates a feeling of safety with you, right? It creates a space for you to be able to soften, for you to be able to be in your feminine. And then when you're in your feminine and he's in his masculine, there's sparks, right? There's electricity between the two of you and the relationship just flows and the, the passion is there and the sex is amazing and the kissing and the, the, this, the whole thing is, is, is electric, right? And the relationship is able to flow and grow in an easy way. Right? So what does it mean for you to consciously cultivate polarity? It means that you get to check in with yourself right, within relationship and ask yourself when you're engaging with the masculine, am I operating from my embodied feminine space? Am I showing up in a feminine way with the masculine? Right? So am I, uh, what, are, what, is, so what does it mean right, to be in your feminine? It means to be soft and sensual and open and vulnerable and playful, right? It's, it's, it's being that feminine energy that allows a man to feel empowered to step deeply up into his masculine. It's being a loving interruption, right? To uh, a man, the heaviness of masculine energy, right? One of the greatest ways that a woman can be in her feminine to, uh, to the masculine is to interrupt the heaviness of their, of their work and their responsibilities and invite them to play. Invite them to explore. Invite them to uh, journey, right? This sort of brings up a really powerful concept, right, called the interdependence of the masculine and the feminine. And there, there are just certain things that we need from each other, right, that we're desiring and craving from each other. And the masculine is craving being acknowledged, being seen and acknowledged for what they're doing by the feminine. So one of the ways, and there, we're craving emotional freedom, right, from the feminine. Freedom, we're, we're, we wanna put down all of our heavy stuff and be free. So for you and your feminine, right, are you acknowledging the masculine for what they're doing, for their actions, for how they're showing up? Are you acknowledging him for, are you telling him how much you appreciate, you know, all the hard work he's doing at his job, you know, all the work he does to build, you know, like if, if he's got a, if he's, you know, built your home or he's, you know, the breadwinner or whatever else, have, have you acknowledged him for all that hard work that he's put in, right, uh, around, around the house or whatever, right? It's any opportunity you have to acknowledge a man, acknowledge the masculine for his actions, you're inviting him to take pride, you're inviting him to step deeper into it, and you're helping him feel more empowered and you're creating, cultivating more polarity with him. So those are just some checking questions I want you to ask yourself to, con to cultivate conscious polarity with the masculine is, are you being in your feminine? Are you being soft and sensual? And are you inviting you know, the masculine to play? Are you acknowledging him for what it is that he is up to, what it is that he is doing out in the world, right? And a visual that you can use for this, right, is that of a conductor, 
right? Because you, as the feminine being in relationship, it's an important concept, you are being, right? You get to be the uh, emotional and communicative conductor in relationship, right? If relationship is a symphony, if love is a symphony, then you're the conductor, right? You're the one uh, gesturing and inviting the masculine, right? And the masculine is the, uh, he's the, He's the action taker, right? He's the doer. <laughs> He's the musician down in the orchestra. And you're inviting him to take action, right? You're inviting him to move forward. You're inviting him to step into vulnerability. You're inviting him to, uh, to share with you. You're inviting him to move the physical container of the relationship forward, right? That's your job as the, as the conductor, right? So ask yourself, like, am, are you making that conscious invitation of a man to step up and step into deeper relationship with you. Because if you are operating from that space of beingness, if you are being a loving interruption to his work, if you are inviting him into vulnerability, asking him how he's feeling, if you are acknowledging him for his actions and doing all this stuff, then you're gonna be cultivating, uh, consciously cultivating polarity with him. You're gonna be helping to empower him to step deeper and deeper into his own masculine essence and create that sort of beautiful polarized relationship that you are so incredibly worthy of. So I hope that you enjoyed this little synopsis, right, of polarity and how you can embody it in a really powerful way. And if you did, be sure to sound off in the comments. Let me know uh, how you're gonna shift into this in your own life or in your own relationships. Be sure to hit that little subscribe button and don't forget to click that link in the comments and caption because I've created some awesome training that is going to make a huge difference in your connections and relationships with men. And be sure to stay tuned to this next video. It's called Be Unforgettable to Him. And uh, this video is gonna help you step into and embody that high value feminine energy so you can be irresistible to a high value masculine man. So hope you enjoy that video and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. And I'm really looking forward to digging into this topic, some simple steps you can take to be unforgettable to high value men. I use these with my clients and with my students every day, and we are going to dive into it.